The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Welcome back to ringside for some more Fantasy Warfare action here this week. Here's a matchup that we thought we were going to see back in 2002 as a King of the Ring qualifying contest. But the man whose entrance we await coming up second wanted no part of it. Back in June of 2002, or excuse me, not June of 2002, it might have been May, either way. On the road to King of the Ring 2002, we randomly heard that on an episode of Monday Night Raw, it was going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin up against Brock Lesnar in a King of the Ring qualifying match, except that match never took place because Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was already frustrated with the WWE creative side, said no way. A match with Brock Lesnar is definitely money. We're not going to give it away on an episode of Monday Night Raw with no build. I'm not coming in to do the job for Brock without any sort of build. After some back and forth between Austin, Jim Ross, and Vince McMahon, Stone Cold Steve Austin would disappear from the company for close to a year, making his return just before No Way Out 2003, technically making his return off camera at an episode of Monday Night Raw before making his official return at No Way Out 2003, ironically right here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. But it has remained in the minds of folks for years what would happen or what would have happened had Stone Cold Steve Austin and Brock Lesnar ever had that match. Of course, we know the story of how Austin was slated to put over Brock Lesnar on that episode of Monday Night Raw, but we never had a chance to see those two go back at it. Even once Austin returned to WWE the following year, his run in the ring was very short-lived, so as a result, there was no chance for Austin and Lesnar to ever have that match. But here this week, we get to have that match, and it's for the WWE's Big Eagle Championship belt. We just saw the winged eagle in our last contest. Now we see the big eagle on the line as Austin will defend the championship in line with our uh, policy for champions. Once you win it, every match you are in is a championship match. So Austin will look to hang on to the championship here today as he defends the title against the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Austin soaking in the adulation from the crowd as we get ready to head down to the ring for the championship introductions of Brock Lesnar and Steve Austin. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And introducing the champion from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin! The ring introductions are out of the way. The time for talk in the ring is through. The referee has now taken possession of the championship, showing it to Brock Lesnar. And now showing it to the audience. We are just moments away from the opening bell here. Austin and Lesnar, a match that we could have seen in 2002, but instead we are seeing it here in 2022 as part of WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare. We're officially underway with Austin landing a side headlock and a punch to the forehead of Lesnar, starting things off with an aggressive manner and then flying off with an elbow drop. Steve Austin, not typically one who goes to the top rope, but in this case, with somebody like Brock Lesnar standing across from him, you gotta do anything you can do to avoid being taken on an endless trip to Suplex City. Austin bouncing Lesnar's head off the canvas. That'll, that'll get you in concussion protocol, that's for sure. Austin hammering away with hard shots to the jawline of Lesnar. Lesnar answers back with one of his own. He's got Austin hooked. Oh, nice butterfly suplex by Brock Lesnar on Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
Lesnar with a boot to the midsection. He's got Austin Fisherman. Oh, nice Fisherman Buster into a Fisherman Suplex. More of a Fisherman Suplex Buster. There we go. We get it together sometimes. Lesnar, Irish Whip sends Austin into the corner. Nice back elbow counter by the Rattlesnake. Gut wrench suplex takes the beast over and he's got him down on his back. Now Austin coming in with fists of fury. And I believe he just broke open the brow of Brock Lesnar. But that could be dangerous because Brock Lesnar, well, he's kind of like a shark when he smells blood. And he will soon be smelling his own blood. So I can only imagine what sort of shark we could be. Oh, wow. What sort of shark we could be on the verge of dealing with once Lesnar realizes he's bleeding his own blood. Lesnar kicks out the count of two. Wonder if Lesnar will take the stance of uh, White Goodman from the movie Dodgeball. Tell Austin, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. I don't know if Austin was going for the stunner on that one. Oh, not quite the usual trip to Suplex City, but a trip to Suplex City indeed, well enough. But Lesnar is once again on his back. Austin coming in with shots to the, the forehead. Driving the forehead and the knuckles. Oh, Lesnar moves out of the way of that one. Oh, nice headlock throw by the Beast. Austin's got Lesnar on the shoulders. Lesnar countered with a DDT. Lesnar now lifting Austin back up to a standing base. I don't know what, uh-oh. Good reason to do it. He's got him up F5 time. Yes, it is. F5. But Austin was under the bottom rope. I can't believe it. I think that would have been all. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Right after the F5s, we take our trip to Suplex City. That's two stops. Final destination. Lester now dragging Austin back out to the center of the ring. Into the cover. Referee there. This could be all. And it was not all. I thought maybe... Just maybe, an F5 and three German suplexes might be enough to keep Steve Austin down, but uh, how wrong I was for that assumption, as Lesnar now leaning into his UFC trainings, mounting Austin with some punches right to the face, and of course, Austin covering up. Uh-oh, another F5? Nope, Austin countering. I think we were about to see another F5. Boot to the midsection, nice DDT by Steve Austin right into the cover. Elbow drop by Austin. Right to the midsection of Lesnar. Picks him back up to his feet. Bringing him over to the corner. Oh! Driving him head first into the top turnbuckle. Now knees to the midsection. Lesnar has had noted problems with his stomach over the years. In fact, a lengthy battle with diverticulitis kept him out of UFC. Boot to the midsection caught by Lesnar. Lesnar's got Austin up again. This could be the second F5, and it is. Will this be enough to put Austin away? Referee into the cover, two. And Austin kicks out of the count of two. That's two F5s that he's escaped. The first one, luck of the draw with a rope break. This time, Austin kicking out on his own, and now hammering away with hard shots to the jaw. Gut buster. Austin with those hard right crosses to the jaw of Brock Lesnar. Now stomping a mud hole in Lesnar and walking it dry. Lesnar counters Austin. Oh my, I thought he was gonna go for a power bomb there but he just threw Austin crazy. Fisherman suplex buster again, this time avoiding the pinfall and he is stalking Steve Austin. He's going for a third F5. He's got him up. Will it be? Yes, it is. A third F5. Referee into the cover. And Austin kicks out once again. 
Austin may have been saved on that first one, but he's kicked out a 2F5, so I'm not sure that he would have been down for the three after that first one. Now we speculated that maybe Austin might have been put away if not for that rope break, but he is successfully kicked out of two F5s at this point, and Austin gets countered by Lesnar with a big time judo throw. Now Lesnar with uppercuts to the gut of Austin, and then driving that big knee right into the gut. Austin now with elbows to the gut of Lesnar. These guys are beating on each other's guts. Oh, big time Stone Cold Stunner out of nowhere. Stunner out of left field by Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's got Lesnar into the cover. Referee in great position and Lesnar kicks out. Austin picking Lesnar back up. He can't believe it. Lesnar countering Austin. Elbows to the midsection. Lesnar boot to the midsection. Fisherman's Buster again. And another Fisherman Suplex Buster by Lesnar. And another one by Lesnar. Austin's neck cannot be in good shape after all of this abuse. Austin just kicks Lesnar away. Bringing Lesnar back up to his feet. Luthez press. He got him with the Luthez press. Into the cover. Referee there. Referee counting. And we get a three. All right, Stone Cold Stunners wouldn't uh, put Lesnar down, but the Luthez press does it for you. I mean, Luthez was quite the competitor in his day, so I suppose I could imagine the Luthez press being quite the devastating maneuver, but nonetheless, Stone Cold Steve Austin retains the WWE Big Eagle Championship here this week on Fantasy Warfare. Coming up next is the Battle of the Superman, John Cena and Hulk Hogan. Don't you dare go anywhere.